Hello and welcome to another edition of Conspirator Brock's Pull List. This is my pull list for the week of October 30th, uh, 2019. Halloween is tomorrow, uh, so hopefully everybody is all set and ready for Halloween. Uh, I don't dress up, but my kids get dressed up, so hopefully it'll be a fun day of trick or treat or a fun evening of trick or treating for them. Um, they've already worn their costumes like twice. They had a dance on Friday, and then uh, they had uh, what was it? Um, their parade. Uh, and they went to their uncle's party over the weekend. So, yeah. But you're not here for that. You're here for the pull list. So, first up this week, we have uh, Aquaman Giant number one. Uh, the Giants have been really cool. The new stories in it are pretty good. Uh, if you don't know the character very well or you just want a good spattering of the character, I'd recommend grabbing these Giants. Uh, they're five bucks. Good deal for what you get. Uh, you get some new material and you get to check out some of the old stories. And maybe those old stories will kindle something in you to go and get the series and pick it up from there. Next up is a Batman annual number four. Um, it is a fifth week, so we have a lot of and we have a, a lot of annuals this week and a lot of random stuff. Um, but Tom King's writing this one, so better snag that one up. Uh, it hopefully is going to be as good as the other one he's written. Uh, we'll see, but uh, Tom King's amazing. I'm sad to say that his run on Batman is going to end soon. Um, but I'm looking forward to the end of it. Uh, Batman and Catwoman, which was slated to come out, um, or which was supposed to be solicited already. It hasn't. It's been pushed back. Uh, we'll see what's going on with that. But, uh, Tom King and Clayman basically made an announcement saying that they're working on it and they want it to be the best possible. And so they are, uh, they are pushing it back a little bit to make sure that Clay has time to draw it. Uh, and if you haven't seen Clayman's artwork, uh, it's amazing. Uh, and you should check it out. Next up, we have Batman and the Outsiders Annual Number One. Um, I love Batman and the Outsiders. Can't wait to see what is in this annual. Um, I like annuals uh, in the sense that it's a nice kind of culmination of, uh, like, hey, it's been a year. Um, I don't like annuals that pop out halfway through the year. So, like, Batman and the Outsiders, we're only on issue like six or eight or something, and that's already an annual. Eh, I prefer it if the annual happens. A little bit further down the road, but hey, what can you do? Next up is Bloodshot number two. Uh, the first issue uh, of the new series was pretty good, so I'm gonna check. I'm gonna continue with it, see where it's going. Um, but uh, Bloodshot's been a solid book from Valiant, so uh, yeah, definitely something that you should check out. Uh, not necessarily this issue or this series, but pick up the prior series and and start from there because Valiant's. Uh, you can you can start at Valiant's number one sometimes. But to get a real sense of the universe, you need to go back to when Valiant relaunched, which was back in like 2006, 2008. Uh, and that's when, um, yeah, you just start there and go forward. Next up is the final issue of Deceased, Six of Six. Uh, we got some Gotham City Siren action on the cover of this issue. So I, of course, love it. Um, Deceased has been really good. Tom Taylor's knocked it out of the park with this anti-life equation zombie story arc that he's done. Um, really, really cool stuff. I uh, can't wait to see how he wraps it up. Um, but definitely something that's a, a, a fun a fun read uh, for uh, those of you out there looking for something that's not necessarily like super, super like, oh my God, this is mind-blowingly great. It's just really good and really fun. Uh, next up is another giant, and that's Ghosts Giant, number one. A uh, bunch of different stories about ghosts. Why not? It's Halloween season, so... Um, there's, there's a handful of new stories in there that I'm willing, to, I'm curious to check out and there's some old stuff I want to see, reread. Uh, so I went ahead and picked up Ghosts. It wasn't on my pull list originally, but hey, uh, I saw it and uh, looked through it and gave, I'm going to give it a shot. But for five bucks with that much content, 100 page of content, that's definitely worth, uh, it's definitely worth it. Um, so the next three are going to be like black label shots right to the face, uh, one after the other. Uh, first up is Harleen number two of three. Uh, the first issue I read, I really enjoyed. The artwork is amazing, so I can't wait to see what happens uh, with this issue. Um, and then uh, the next one is a new Black Label title from Jeff Lemire and Andrea Sorrentino, and that's Joker Killer Smile number one. Uh, so yeah, so this is the main cover, so I can't wait to dive into Jeff, uh, Jeff Lemire and uh, Sorrentino's Joker story. Uh, Sorrentino's artwork's amazing. I think it's going to fit really, really well with this. Uh, the next Black Label book on my list this week is um, one that I originally wasn't going to get, but there's been some buzz about it. Uh, DC 
actually overshipped stores copies for free. Uh, so it's really cool that DC is getting behind this and just giving stores copies to say, hey, let's get this out there. Um, and that's The Last God, um, from the Black Label title. Uh, it's book one of the Fels, Felspire Chronicles. So I'm really curious to see what this is all about. This is DC taking a stab at some fantasy books. Um, so we'll see. But uh, definitely, definitely um, looking forward to checking out The Last God. Uh, next up is one for my daughter, and that is uh, The Little Mermaid, number one, from Dark Horse. Uh, looks like uh, they just kind of remade the, the movie from this uh, in this issue, which is cool. You know, it's nice to see uh, it, it done again in comic book format. So it's for my daughter. Hopefully she likes it. Uh, next up is a new number one from Valiant, and that is Roku. 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 I think it's Roku. Uh, basically, the uh, villain S from uh, Nin Ninja K or Ninjax. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm curious to see what this entails since it's more of a villain um, miniseries. So, who knows? Next up, uh, the next two are from my uh, son, pretty much, uh, and that is uh, Star Wars Adventures number 27. Uh, this is actually Ri Journey to uh, Star Wars, The uh, Rise of Skywalker. So uh, there looks, looks to be some stories in there that are going to uh, lead into uh, the Rise of Skywalker stuff. Especially for kids, I think that's really good to kind of hook them and, and snag them and stuff like that for uh, getting them a little more hyped for the movie if you're not already hyped at all. I know Tickets Win already went on sale. I haven't yet gotten mine yet. Um, I'm hoping to... Get them closer to uh, the December, um, but we'll see uh, if I can uh, uh, scrounge up the dinero for it. Uh, I normally take my kids. It's a movie that all three of us go to, and I really, really enjoy it. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I get to uh, get do that this year. Uh, next up is Star Wars Adventures Return to Vader's Castle. This finishes off the weekly uh, mini that's been coming out. I haven't read it, but again, I picked those up for my son, so hopefully he's he's going to enjoy them when he gets to them. Uh, next up is a dollar comic. Uh, they released a Superman $75 comic issue, so if you have never, ever gotten to see a copy of Death of Superman, which I have no idea. They did like four printings or plus of that book, and like there's so many copies of it. Like I don't know how how anybody on the planet earth doesn't have a copy of it um but you can get a brand new dollar version of it um this week uh and relive the death of superman for yourself but it leads into the uh the the next book which is the tales from the dark multiverse the death of superman so we're going to see a, a dark twist on the death of superman and what that entails in the dark multiverse um the batman one was fantastic uh with uh you know, Bane breaking Batman's back and Azrael taking over and Azrael never letting the reins go and just really, really solid, solid story. I enjoyed reading it. It was fantastic. So definitely recommend picking up those Tales of the Multiverse uh, one shots. They're really, so far, they're definitely worth it. And finally on my pull list is Wonder Woman Annual number three. yee -hoo. Uh So it's by Steve Orlando. So we'll see what he has in store for us with that uh, annual issue. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's it for this week's pull list, at least. I did grab some variants, but not as many as I normally do. So the first one is for, uh, Deceased number six. I grabbed the variant, the headshot variant for Dark Side. That one was pretty cool. And, uh, I thought this one was pretty, pretty awesome. And that was the Detective Chimp Zombie looking cover. I don't remember what movie this is. Uh, I'm assuming it might be I Am Legend. I'm not sure. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but, uh, yeah, I know they've been doing the movie variants on that. So I've been getting those, uh, and then, uh, of course there are, uh, the black label books, the, uh, the prestige plus format. There was a second or a variant for the Harleen number two, which I snagged up there. And of course there was one for Joker killer smile. So I snagged that one up as well. Um, I did get a couple special orders, but I will uh, get to those in a second. First up, um, I want to dive into the read pile. Um, we have been getting a few more copies of some books that have come in, so I've been starting to read just stuff, extra stuff um, more. And so this week, I uh, actually decided to give the uh, basket full of heads a try, the new Joe Hill uh, horror series that Black Label's been putting out. Um, and I must say, I read it and I really enjoyed it. This one actually might jump off the read list onto my pull list. 
Um, I really thought that this was a very solid first issue to a story. It's it, it grabbed my attention. I'm curious for more, like really, really super cool stuff. I'm really curious, at, like that's really just what uh, really grabbed me was just how curious I was after reading this book. Um, so yeah, so if you get a chance, check out Basketful of Heads. Uh, I I'm, I'm I think I'm sold. I think I'm gonna be I'm gonna check out that mini series. Uh, and I may even go back and, and try another one of the, the horror ones coming out. I'm not a big horror guy, so it takes a lot to kind of get my attention with it, but definitely like Basketful of, of Heads. Next up is one from Marvel, and that's a new number one, and that's Excalibur number one. Um, so we're going to be going to be diving into Excalibur here um, out of it's the Dawn of X stuff. We'll see. Um, you know, Marauders was... Marauders was a book. It's not going to last very long, but Marauders was a book. Um, I don't know. Marvel's just pumping it out, pumping book after book after book after book out. And I don't, 11 X-Men titles are coming out within, you know, in the next few months with this Dawn of X stuff. That's a lot. Like, I mean, you kind of reset everything. You had the two minis that should have been one mini. And, and now you have like six titles coming out. Okay, it's a stretch, but 11 titles in the pipeline? It's a lot, Marvel. Trim it back a little bit. Um, curious to see what Excalibur has in store, um, but uh, I'm not too hopeful. Um, out of all the books, it's probably, it's probably fourth on my, or it's probably the third, third one. So I'm, I'm definitely like X-Men, I'm really looking forward to um, New Mutants. Oh yeah, X-Men, X-Force, New Mutants, and then Excalibur. So Excalibur is the next one. Uh, Marauders and Fallen Angels is like the bottom. So we'll see if this one uh, catches my interest. Next up is one that I actually put on my pull list but dropped to my read list because I've already read it. And uh, yeah, it was not that great. Um, and that is the Sandman Universe Presents Hellblazer uh, one-shot. Nah, I, I would avoid it. Just I don't like saying that a lot of times about books, uh, especially on my pull list. Um, but I gave that a read today and it was, I actually got through it all, but man, it, it just didn't catch me. It didn't entice me. It like, it just, it did not hit any of the buttons, uh, which is surprising because Basketful of Heads hit every button and I didn't think I would like that, but I liked Hellblazer as a character. So yeah, so it's like kind of a flip flop. So we'll see. Uh... I did get a couple special orders. Um, the first one is the uh, I got a, the Joker Harley Quinn like dancing Alex Ross uh, shirt. I hadn't. I've never had a copy. Of, I've never had a version of this shirt. Uh, they redid it or resolicited it, so I, I snagged one up because I was like, yes, I need this. Uh, classic cover, great thing. It's off. From, it's from the Harley Quinn one shot that kind of introduced Harley Quinn into the re, into the actual DC universe. It's her first DC Universe appearance, um, so a lot of people uh, snagged that one up uh, as well since the first appearance, which is Batman Adventures number 12, uh, which they're going to be releasing, I think, a dollar version or a facsimile version of uh, in this solicitation from previews. Uh, well, I'll, I'll look for that, but yeah, so um, definitely something that uh, you should check out. And then um, I ordered a shirt from graffiti and I like graffiti shirts graffiti doesn't do a good job they, they've kind of gone all over the place with do we keep a tag do we not have a tag but you know do we use this heavy duty cotton weave or do we not like their shirts have been kind of all over the place a little bit but they're fairly consistent and they try to keep them good um, design wise they some they normally hit it out of the park um, but sometimes they they make a design that that you you order and you think it's going to be cool and it ends up being something completely and utterly not what you thought it was and um, that's what this next special order i got is so i ordered what was supposed to be called what is what is called the batman drip symbol t-shirt um it was supposed to be kind of like a the, the logo dripping a little bit um i don't know about you but this logo looks like it's strawberry jam it doesn't, it, I mean, it's dripping, but it looks literally like strawberry jam or ketchup. This, this looks like the art from like Rick and Morty or something. Like I, it, when it, like this is not the drip 
<laughs> that I was expecting to get. So, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this shirt. I'm... We'll just we'll just leave it there. Um, yeah, that it's also the last week of the month, um, so that means we get uh, previews, which means um, that we get previews number three seventy four. This is November previews for stuff to be released in January of twenty twenty. Um, and yeah, this is what you need to look through at your local shop to see what you want to order. I always recommend taking at least a gander through um, the, the publishers that you like. Um, uh, you know, see what they have out there, what's in store. Um, yeah, I'm looking for the the dollar books. So, um, yes, so they are doing a dollar reprint. So, uh, for so the dollar comics coming, they're going to do a dollar reprint of that first appearance of Harley Quinn. Uh, so be on the lookout for that in January. Um, it looks like we're also getting a. Uh, a uh, Batman Catwoman story from Brave and the Bold. Um, so yeah, so those, it's really cool that they're redoing some of these dollar books. <clears throat> um, some issues that, you know, are really hard to find or like are minor keys that are different, like going up in prices. Um, but yeah, I'm, it's really cool that they're doing it. And it's really cool that they're doing the facsimile editions as well. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> but that is it for this week. Um, uh, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm sorry that this video was up so late um, on Wednesday, um, probably into Thursday. Uh, I just got super busy Wednesday after work. I uh, had to run some errands, and then the kids got dropped off late, and just one thing after another, and so my video is not at my normal time. I do apologize for that, guys, um, but I do my best to get it somewhat on time all the time. Uh, but life gets in the way, um, but here it is for you. So... Thank you very much for, again for watching it. Um, again, ugh, leave your comments down in the comment section below. Let me know what you're picking up. If you have any questions, all that wonderful stuff. I try to get to those um, if I can. Uh, just, again, busy and busy and busy. So uh, I wish I wasn't so busy. I wish I had time to do everything that I wanted to do. I wish I made enough money to do the things that I want to do. Uh, which isn't much, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a struggle. So, uh, but yeah. So, um, you can, uh, listen to me also on the Comics Conspiracy podcast. We just finished recording episode 425, uh, and you, there'll be a link in the description below for that. It's just me and Ryan on the podcast, a good old fashioned two man show. We, uh, hammer out some news topics and answer some questions. So yeah, you can find, um, us at the link below or through, you know, Apple podcast or Spotify or all that wonderful stuff. So please check us out. Um, you can help me and my fellow conspirators out through Patreon at www.patreon.com slash comics conspiracy. For as little as a dollar a month, you help us with hosting fees, getting food sometimes, and getting products. So thank you very much to all of our Patreon backers. It helps out immensely. Um, yeah. And uh, you can follow me on Twitter. My handle is at Brock Sager. Um, and uh, you can also help me out um, a little more directly by purchasing anything through an Amazon link that's either here on um, my YouTube channel or over at conspiratorbrock.com or you can head over to my eBay page to see what um, I'm getting rid of out of my collection to see if it's something that you want. Uh, so definitely everybody who's purchased through there, it helps out immensely. I've been getting, been able to at least get some food uh, and uh, stuff. Nothing too crazy, um, but uh, yeah, uh, kids need shoes and food and it, it's a never ending cycle. So Hopefully I'll be able to get a couple more things up this weekend, but uh, check it out. There's a link in the description below. Uh, I do uh, appreciate any help I get. Uh, being It's exceedingly difficult to live in the Bay Area and do what I do as an educator and as a podcast personality and comic book store guy and all that stuff. So I appreciate the support that everybody gives. Thank you very much. Um, that's it for this week. Um, I got Halloween stuff to do tomorrow. I'm beat tired. I got to work on Saturday. Um, so, yeah. I'll see you next week.